Oh yeah, the big ape is back in action and you have no idea how happy I am. So yep, it's time to make a list for the Donkey Kong Country series, and the best way to do that is with a list that truly defines the games. Those levels that give you nightmares. Anyone who's played through any of the Super Nintendo Donkey Kong Country games will tell you there are moments where you get so frustrated, you pull back on the controller so hard the core comes back and hits you in the eye, as if to perfectly symbolize that this game beat you up. The only rule I have is no lost levels, because I'm actually new to DKC3 and haven't unlocked all of them, and if I did, then there wouldn't be any levels for the first DKC game on here. And if I did, Animal Antics would have dominated. Stupid win. Enough blabbering, let's start this list. Strike this one to unexpected and unwanted surprises. It took me a good amount of lives before I finally beat Buzzer Barrage because of these guys, who never take a hit and only know how to give them. This level should have been named after these guys because they're scattered everywhere and have a long range with their wings. But the worst part, besides playing as the purple squawk who can't spew out nuts to attack and has to drop barrels to kill enemies, is that these guys seem to come out of nowhere, especially right here! Yeah, I know it's coming and he still hits me! Mainly because I forget he's there after going through this. All I want to do is get through this level as fast as I can. And that's why I happen to die a lot on this stage. You cannot do a list like this and leave out the minecart levels, and the original needs to be on here for a few reasons. Later on you're able to jump over enemies and into new carts, but in the first one, you have to use the cart to jump for you, and it is a bigger target, meaning you have to get your timing just right to avoid the enemy carts and the ones who just left them on the tracks. ENOUGH ALREADY! Yeah, another cart level, and it's not the last one you'll see on this list either. But this one jacked up the challenge by having you being chased by Cackle, who will knock you off your cart unless you run into the plus barrels to add more time before he's allowed to touch you. But the challenge goes up a notch when you have to touch the plus barrels while avoiding the minus barrels. Of course I've played DKC2 the most, so I'm actually really good at it, but back when I first got it, the minus should have meant for minus a life. Now it's the final cart level on this list. If I needed any proof that this game cheats, it's right here. Get ready to hit that jump button at a moment's notice because that's all the time you've got to see these ditches coming. The hit detection fell completely off as even landing on top of an enemy would cause you to get hit before the enemy died. Wait, what was that? Are you kidding me? Nothing touched me! Not even snow! This is absolute bullshit! I'm sure anyone who's played Donkey Kong Country 2 remembers the Bramble levels. I mean, how could you forget it? It had such relaxing music! But Screech's Sprint made its last regular level a near impossible obstacle course while being involved in a death race because if you came in second place, you... Well, that's self-explanatory. This would have been higher if it wasn't for the double shortcut. It's the only thing that makes up for this. Remember this level? I'm sure you do now that I've shown it to you. Tank Dub Trouble played as a sort of on-rails level where you had to avoid obstacles while gathering as many gas tanks as possible, otherwise you would die. First time playing through this level, there were a couple of tough spots, but then you had to get this tire. And that's the only gas tank you needed it for. For the longest time, I really thought you had to go through the stage with that tire, but turns out you didn't. Just for that one little part. You would have thought the tire would have been helpful, but it really wasn't. Underwater levels have never really bothered me, but this one will take lots of time and patience to get through. Why? Because the water switches your left from your right. If you want to go right, press left, and vice versa. You'll most likely come to a tough spot and forget that the controls for left and right were reversed. You'll be your own biggest obstacle for this level. The tower is being filled with deadly poison. As you would expect, you have to get to the top of the tower ASAP. Parts with Squawk and even Squinter aren't even a problem since they can attack. But the first part with Ratley will slow you down. His high jump takes too long to charge, and if you do it too soon, it will fail. And if you fall... You won't have to worry about being a clothing item. This level drives me to the near brink of insanity. Barrel blasts aren't that much of a problem until you throw in zingers that get in your way, a blizzard making it hard to concentrate, and then rotate them. 
This level still gives me a problem even to this day, which is why it's so high on the list. Uh, uh, yes! Why? Well, if this one drives me to the near brink of insanity, then the next one pushes me over the edge while holding an anvil. I had a dream before about lightning being everywhere, but this level turned it into a nightmare. At first the lightning is easy to dodge because of its quick flashes telling you where it's going, but later on it comes down faster and faster. Even worse are the water sections because if the lightning hits any part of it, you will get fried. This part here forces you to get into the water, and your only hope is to get the lightning to strike right beside you, then go through the water as fast as you can. The only small thing that makes this fair is that you can take cover using the enemies that will also die, except for the red buzzers. This level has cost me so many lives, and I've only beaten it once. Then again, I'm actually new to DKC3, but still, of the many attempts I've made, I've only passed it once. Well, that does it for my personal list of the top 10 most difficult Donkey Kong Country levels. If you have your own list, go ahead and leave a comment about your own 10 most difficult levels from the Donkey Kong Country games.